Welcome guys back to New Zealand Mysteries. I'm TJ and I am glad to have you here. If you're new to New Zealand Mysteries, we are actually a whole community. We have a Facebook page and a website all about missing persons and unsolved murders in New Zealand and our aim is to get the information in front of as many people in our team of 5 million around here that we can and flush these people out, flush whatever has happened to these people, information, whatever we can. So if you want uh, to join any of those and join the fight, links are in the description box below. And the description box below is also links to support the channel. Uh, I'm just a one person uh, band here. I don't have the best audio or video quality, but I'm just working with what I got. But if you want to support the channel, links are below. I would also appreciate it if you would press the like button or the dislike button, whichever you prefer. If you enjoy the content, hit subscribe and then the little bell notification that says all. That way you can be notified when a case or a story comes up. Uh, you'll also find uh, in the description box below all the links to my sources that I use for information and when you need to or if you need to submit information to the police I have all those information numbers and links down below but I also have it at the end of the episode as well so uh, let's get into it today we are talking about the disappearance of Julian Varley we're going to start at the New Zealand Herald nzherald.co.nz on February uh, 2020. Missing Tauranga man's sister begs for help to find him. Tauranga man Julian Varley's younger sister is begging for the public's help to find her beloved brother who has been missing since last month. Varley, 30, who has two children and one on the way, was last seen in his blue Nissan Pulsar near in his Pies Pa home on January the 23rd and I apologize if I pronounce things wrong but I'm not from the North Island. His younger sister Naya Mitchell who lives in Papamoa said she and the rest of her family including Julian's partner were struggling and in the dark as to his whereabouts. My brother Julian has been missing 25 days today. Please let my brother come home she says it would mean the world if you could do anything to help find him. She says, I pray every second of every moment that he will come home to us. Naya said her brother worked full time as a strawberry picker in Whakamarama and his disappearance was totally out of character. She was not sure what Julian was wearing when he disappeared, but he was known to wear hunting and fishing tops, but we'll see more on that later. She says inside Julian's flat there were no clothes or belongings missing and nothing to suggest that he was feeling troubled about anything uh, and she's distraught telling that to the paper. Mitchell said she has not been able to eat or sleep since he went missing and she and her family were barely keeping it together. She said we need Julian home and not knowing why or how he disappeared or anything about his possible whereabouts is just destroying us. So you can tell in this article that his family are extremely distraught and doing it extremely rough. Really tough for these guys. Um, and the plea is so heartfelt. Now, his sister Naya continues to um, advocate on her brother's behalf and the family's behalf, as we'll see as we go along. Um, she's not letting it go, so she's doing a great job. Next, we'll go to sunlive.co.au. NZ. Tauranga a man missing for 42 days. So just before we go on, uh, Tauranga is, uh, in Wikipedia, says it's a large coastal metropolitan city in the Bay of Plenty region in New Zealand and the fifth most populous city with an urban population of 135,000 as of June 2019. The city lies in the northwestern corner of the Bay of Plenty on the southern southeastern edge of Tauranga Harbour and Tauranga is one of New Zealand's fastest 
growing cities. And if we take a look uh, at the North Island of New Zealand here, um, this here is where Tauranga is placed. It's been more than 40 days and Tauranga man Julian Vale it still remains missing. Julian's sister, Naya Mitchell, is about is absolutely devastated, saying that their family are going through torture not knowing his whereabouts. She is urging anyone with information to speak up. She says, we just need someone to give up information. He has had no contact with his friends or family. Our main focus is to find him and bring him home, no matter the circumstances. Julian has two children and one on the way and was first reported missing to police in late January. She says, imagine if it was your brother, son, family member, please have a heart and speak up, she pleads. This is so heartbreaking for our family, not knowing where, why, anything, we just need him home. Police are still making inquiries and cannot provide any updates at this stage, a spokesperson confirms. But we will get updates from the police and... Um, Another sad plea from his family, from his sister. Obviously, they are absolutely heartbroken, and, and this is awful for them. Now, I'm going to go to a, po a post on Facebook. Now, this is not my page, but it is a NZ Missing Persons page on Facebook. And on the 9th of March, Naya Mitchell posted, Please help someone. Must know something. 47 today days today, my brother has been missing people. Don't just go missing on the planet of Earth without anyone seeing or knowing anything. Please, for the sake of his family and two children and one on the way, please someone speak up. This is so heartbreaking. I wake up every single day crying and praying for my brother's return just to see him walk through my front door and ask what's for lunch or anything or even just to find him. So our family is, as he always made an effort uh, to show araha with every single person he knows. Julian Vale has no, no contact with anyone since the 22nd of January, it says here. Also, his car has been found. That's all we know. Please, I beg you, the person that knows something, please speak up. Words can't explain the pain and hurt we are all going through. Imagine if it was your brother, dad, son or cousin. I love you, my big brother, Julian. Please, we need you home. And it says, please share my post for my brother Julian's children, also our whanau. Thank you for whom shares my post means the world to our family. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to share the hell out of this post uh, as far and wide on Facebook uh, and on YouTube as we can. And... Uh, see what we can come up with next i'm going to go to goldfm.co.nz now just a quick note i'm going to um have all the information on where you need to submit uh info to the police if you know anything at the end of the show and also in the description box below but uh, next, this was on the April the 7th, 2020, so not long ago. Police appeal for information on missing man Julian Vale. Media released by the New Zealand Police, Western Bay of Plenty Police are asking for the public's help with any information that might help us locate 31-year-old Julian James Vale. Police now hold serious fears for the safety and well-being of Julian who has been miss missing from the Tauranga area since Thursday, 23rd of January 2020. The last confirmed sighting of Julian was on that afternoon, and when he was captured on CCTV driving his blue and silver 1998 Nissan Pulsar about 3pm at the point roundabout on State Highway 29A, Tauranga. And um, there's a picture of him and his car about 1 a.m on friday 24th january a member of the public found julian's pulsar on fire on Arupi road near state highway 36 the car was totally destroyed by the fire and as we take a look at the uh, map here google maps uh up the top here is tauranga and the car was found down here 
this yellow line here is the State Highway 36 that they mentioned. And so that's about 28 uh, k's or so from Tauranga. Next we go to nzherald.co.nz. Last known image of missing Tauranga man Julian Varley released an appeal to find him. So this is the picture that was released. The last known image of missing Tauranga father of two Julian Varley has been released as police confirm a sinister twist in his disappearance. Police have appealed for information about Julian who hasn't been seen since January 23rd. The last confirmed sightings of Julian, 31, were around 3pm that day in Tauranga. He was captured on CCTV driving his blue and silver 1998 Nissan Pulsar at the Puig route on State Highway 29A. CCTV footage showing Vale from the back has also been obtained and this is the last known image of him. The t-shirt he was wearing is a red tie-dyed one and the hat is one his family advises that he wore regularly. Vale's car was found several hours later on fire on a ropey road near State Highway 36. Police confirmed on Police 107 last night that bullet holes were found in the burned out car. So uh, for those not from New Zealand, Police 107 is a weekly um, sort of like a crime stopper show, I guess. And they featured Julian's story on there last night um, or when this was printed. And it revealed information about the bullet holes which hadn't been released to the public beforehand. So that was new information. Vali had not accessed his bank account or used his cell phone since the day he was last seen and he has had no contact with his family or friends and it certainly sounds like they are a close-knit family, very caring family, so that's quite alarming that he hasn't contacted his family and then of course he's a dad, he's got two children and one on the way and from all, all I can gather he's a really nice caring guy a good father a good partner and um, it's out of character that he's going to not make contact the lack of contact from Julian particularly in relation to his two young children has always been of great concern to us detective senior sergeant Greg Turner Western Bay of Plenty area manager investigations said and the discovery of bullet holes in Julian's burned out car is obviously a significant and sinister development. That's unfortunate. We have a number of detectives working on the investigation into Julian's disappearance and we are absolutely committed to establishing what has happened to him and finding answers for his loved ones. We believe the community can help us with that and we urge anyone who has not yet seen the Police 10 segment to watch it, you can do so via the Police 10 7 Facebook page or the Bay of Plenty Police Facebook page. So I'll have those uh, links at the end of the show. Of course, this is CCTV uh, capturing his last movements in Tauranga. And this is his car, obviously destroyed absolutely destroyed and here's information where you could submit anything you know which I'll have again in the description box below or at the end of the episode. Police released another statement uh, yesterday Friday the 15th of May um, but it just really goes over all the information that we've covered. Uh, there is a few other articles out there but they're all just copying the same thing um, you know so He's been missing from Tauranga since Thursday 23rd of Jan. Uh, last confirmed sightings around 3pm that day. He was captured on CCTV driving his blue and silver Nissan Pulsar. CCTV footage showing him from the back with that red tie-dyed uh, shirt and the hat that he always wore, his family said. Uh, they found this car on fire and they disclosed on the program police 107 that bullet holes have been found in the car 
the lack of contact from Julian is worrying, uh, particularly because he has two young children, he's a dad, and his partner is pregnant. They have a number of detectives working on the investigation, and they are committed to establishing what has happened to him and finding answers for his loved ones. They believe the community can help them, and I believe that. And they said if you've not seen the Police 10 7 segment, to go and watch it via Facebook. So I'm going to put those links at the end of the show. Okay, so this is the Police 10 7 Facebook page. Um, and if you see, they go down, and there is the story that they have done on Julian, and you can watch that there. You can also go to the Bay of Plenty and Taupo Police website, uh, sorry, Facebook page, and they've got the video there too. So a couple of ways to watch it there. Um, this is our Facebook page, New Zealand Mysteries, and what we do is post uh, the YouTube videos onto the page so everyone can share it on Facebook. Um, and so you'll see the last one was posted about a uh, missing young lady, Jessica Boyce. Be great to have you on board uh, to come along and help share these stories for the victims and their families. Uh, they need answers and we want to help. So I would love to have you on board. So let's just go over the details at the end here. Some images. This, remember, is the last image of him in the red tie-dye top and the hat, which he wore regularly. This was the car, obviously, that was caught on CCTV. And unfortunately, this is the car found burnt out with bullet holes in it. So, Julian, age 31, has been missing from the Tauranga area since Thursday, 23rd of January, 2020. The last confirmed sightings of Julian were around 3 p.m. that day. He was captured on CCT drive, CCTV, I should say, driving his blue and silver 1998 Nissan Pulsar at the Poik roundabout on State Highway 29A in Tauranga. CCTV footage showing Julian from the back has also been obtained and a, this is the last known image of him. The t-shirt he was wearing is a red tie-dyed one and the hat is one Julian's family says he wore regularly. Julian's car was found several hours later on fire on Oropi Road near State Highway 36. Bullet holes have been found in the burnt out car. Julian has not accessed his bank account or used his cell phone since the day he was last seen and he has no contact with his family and friends and remember this young man has got a family he is a dad of two and one on the way and it appears that he has a really loving close-knit family so to have no contact with them is completely out of character for him down below here, we've got the information um, that police have released, so you can submit anything you know. So, firstly, you can ring the 107 information line on 0800 107 4636. Uh, if anyone has sightings and information that may assist police, they should phone 105, quoting file number 20012. Eight slash o six one three. You can also give information anonymously through Crime Stoppers on o eight hundred triple five triple one, and I've also put down the website for Crime Stoppers, so that's Crime Stoppers NZ dot org, and that can be anonymous as well. So I really want to thank you for sticking around um, and listening to Julian's story. And bearing with me, I know I'm not a professional and this isn't the greatest quality, but I just want to help these families. Um, it's hard when you listen to them and hear their hearts breaking. Uh, I couldn't imagine what it's like and I just can't stand by and, and listen and see um, these, these poor families. Please help as much as you can. Talk about it with your friends and family, share these posts with your friends and family, share them everywhere, all over Facebook, 
all over the internet, whatever it takes to flush some information out. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time.